Sometimes I worry that people are nicer to me than I am to them. Viewers send me things all the time, and it makes me cranky, because it's stuff I don't want that's too good to throw away. I got a lot of cats, for instance. <laughs> Bart! Bart! What's going on in there? I don't know. It must be the frame diopter. Well, as we got dead air, get somebody on. Okay, I'll go get Poe. Sometimes I worry that technology companies are nicer to me than I am to them. Companies send me stuff all the time and it makes me cranky because it's stuff that's too good to send away and I gotta pack it up and send it back. Take this contraption, for example. Somebody believes that if I plug this into my PC's video card and wear these glasses, I can see my games and Word documents in 3D. Griffin Technology makes a lot of nice stuff for iPods. If you hook up your iPod to your stereo, they make a little remote control you can use to control it from up to 60 feet away. I guess that's for people who think it's too far to walk over to the stereo to adjust the volume themselves. Griffin also makes some fun gadgets. I especially like this one. It snaps right on your iPod here and it's a flashlight so you can see in the dark. Or if uh, you're a professor or some kind of uh, diagnostician, they got a laser beam here. Snaps right into your iPod. Ooh, don't look into the camera. I often think that we've entered the time of disposability. We dispose of this, we dispose of that, everything's disposable now. Even books. This little thing is called the Playaway. Each one is a pre-recorded book in its entirety, unabridged, with some cheap earbuds you're supposed to listen to the book. It's got all the usual controls, play, stop, next chapter, volume. There's even a button here that makes the reader speed up. I guess that's for people who are too impatient to see how the story turns out. Here's something else that's more or less disposable. Probably the cheapest camcorder you've ever seen. It's a $130 camcorder. Records half an hour onto memory chips. It's nice. It's got a little tiny screen on it. When you're finished recording, you can play the video on your television, dump it onto your computer, or take it to a drugstore and pay to have it put on a DVD for you. I guess that's for people too overwhelmed by technology to have a real camcorder. They're calling these extreme office supplies. A Fisher space pen that is pressurized so it writes upside down or even on greasy paper. And this waterproof paper. Uh, the rep said that these would be good in this age of hurricanes. Of course, if a hurricane hit my office, I don't think the first thing I'd be thinking of is starting to write some letters. Of course, if you ask me, the most space-age thing about the space pen is the indestructible plastic they wrap it in. I couldn't get this thing open if my life depended on it. That's why maybe one of the best things that I've discovered is this. It's a $5 tool called the OpenX, and it's lethal to those packages. It's a good thing the OpenX works so well, because I'm going to need the upside-down pen and the waterproof paper to write letters back to all the companies who send me all this junk. <laughs>